name's Patrick. I'm with Paul Capone Engineering. I, uh, I do a lot of things around here. One of the things I do do, duplicity. Uh, is order material. I do all the material acquisitions. And behind me, you can see our beautiful racks of material. It's all American milled, 6061, 2024, 7075, and some 6003 groovy barrel material down there. And here, when I say American milled, that means all of this stuff is processed uh, into the shape that you see behind me, the different shapes you see behind me in the United States with uh, domestic material. So they take your old car and they chop it up, put it in a melter furnace, and they melt it into a big ingot, and then that ingot gets melted again, and then that goes through a die and it gets pushed and pulled and extruded into the shapes you see behind me. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about our stem material and some of the difficulties and the advantages uh, of the material itself and sourcing the material and just what it's all about. So we make our stems out of 2024, uh, which is known as a aerospace alloy. Uh, whereas most of all of everything else we make, brake levers, brake arms, are, is 6061. And uh, there are a few different processes to make the shapes you see, but the 2024 is known as a cold finish product, meaning when it's being pulled and pushed and pulled into the shape, uh, it's not hot, but it also gives us a very structurally, uh, dimensionally tight profile. So that means these vary plus or minus five thou maybe. So if this is two inch square, it can be either 2005 or 1.995. Whereas the extruded stuff uh, varies plus or minus 25 thou. So it's a pretty big difference in dimensional stability. But 2024 um, has properties that 6061 does not in that it's much stronger because we don't want your stem breaking on you. Uh, but the way that it fails is, is known as a ductile failure. So instead of it cracking like carbon fiber and just shearing off catastrophically without any warning, uh, it'll develop cracks and slowly fail and it'll ba basically bend before it breaks. Uh, and that is an ideal uh, property when you have something that's as critical and crucial as a stem that holds your handlebars on and holds your face from the ground. Um, so that's the main reason we went with 2024. 7075 would have been another uh, alloy that some people might use, but it is a little more hard and brittle, so it would crack a little easier. Um, and, you know, yeah, stuff. So getting this much material here, as you can see behind me, has not been easy um, because most of the industries that use 2024 would be like aerospace, some of the automotive industries. Uh, so demand isn't super high. So the mill runs are relatively short. So they'll do a mill run of say 1,000 pounds, 1,500 pounds maybe. Uh, they don't stock this in our regional supplier warehouse. So we have to get it from Chicago. It comes from Chicago all the way to here. Uh, so recently we've been buying everything they have, basically. EMJ carries, uh, I guess from the Midwest to the West Coast would be, I don't think they're gonna transfer it from New York, but anyway, we're getting to the point where we're just gonna start buying our own mill runs and do 2,000, 3,000 pounds at a time, which to give you a, a cost estimate is around $10,000 $10, each time I have to order material to make a run of stems here at the shop. Um, so, EMJ has been great helping me figure that out, but uh, yeah, aluminum. So Roy, yes. How many days left till retirement? Fifty-three. How long have you been driving for EMJ? Five years. Hot damn. Anything else uh, I should uh, ask? How you? many years have I been driving? How many years have you been 58. driving? Fifty-eight. That's, uh, that's, that's a long time. More than I've been alive. Right. What's your favorite color? Blue. As you can tell. Really? As you can tell. Really? Yep. What are you going to do when you retire? I joined the GPA 30 years ago. The Gold Prospector Association. Hell yeah. 
You gonna make it big? I already have twice. Nice. But I got a wife. Yeah. Meaning I gotta do the honeydews for about six months. Then after that, then I'm up in the hills. Hell yeah, if there's anything left. Well, I gotta tie down the load. Are we done? Sure. Okay, thanks. Have a good day. <laughs>